Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more Antebellum. We are Frankia. And we are kicking the teeth in of all who oppose us, obviously. And we're also making fat buckets of ducats because of this trade that we're getting from uh, these guys over here. Pretty impressive. I'd like to get some trade from uh, England, but uh, I'm not sure where his heavies are. Not sure I want to risk that one. I don't know where his heavies are, actually. Where are his heavies? I think I'm over here wiping out people by accident. Yeah, there we go. So he's got six heavies, so I need a couple more there. Get eight. Sounds good. That's funny. I've killed 18,000 men and I was not watching. <laughs> Kinda funny. Lubeck has added provinces to the HRE. Very good. All oh, right, I lost cores on them, didn't I? I had cores on this. So, I'm, hmm. Can I declare on him? I can. Whenever my truce is up, he's at war with him too? Man, this guy. Okay. So whenever these truces are over... Andalusia, the warmonger. Um... Hmm. We'll see. Let's get those guys off of there. They're on my capital somehow. So, where's my zone of control that doesn't protect this? Hmm, maybe there isn't a zone of control right here. Yeah, there isn't a zone of control right here, but these guys are marching from up here, so... Regardless, they are more- they're- these guys are marching past forts, so... They just won a 7%, didn't they? Did they just win a 7%, guys? They're just carpet sieging me. This is dumb. There we go. Carpet siege these guys down. Peace out, Bohemia. For all their money. Easy peasy. Come on down here. Colonialism is here. Where did it spawn? Andalusia. Dang. That's unfortunate. It's fine. Let's get down here, get all these guys out of there. Oh, hey. Those guys are gonna get wiped. Goodbye. Got some rebels up here. Easy peasy. Augsburg just got stack wiped, so he's he's done. Yeah, let's take that. A little bit of ahead of time on tech will increase our trade. Okay, that's not right, but let's also get these claims. Any claims that I needed from these guys make it much easier to uh, annex them here in a minute. Come on now, let me win a siege, man. So I might separate piece these guys out to have them release Lanshut. I mean, that's the whole point of this war, is to have them peace people, or release people. Get you guys out of there. Very easy. So you guys will be released, but you're going to release Lanshut? Yeah, 40... That's fine. He, he spawned with three, and then he just he just uh, deleted his entire army. Like you do. Let's come over here. Okay. 
we just need to siege him down and then we can release a bunch of tags. This is gonna be great. Something like this. She'll have our endorsement, yes. I love me some innovativeness, especially since that's what we're really pushing for. So tree stay I don't care about. You guys are gonna release those three. And um give me some money. Very good. Check that out. Look how many tags we got over here. We're doing good, boys. Um, now I should really make a mad push to get Papal Controller. We have our next military, uh, our next reform tier, which is military specialization. Yearly army traditions, good. Manpower recovery speed, that's really good. Mercenaries, discipline, 3.5, leader cost, 15. Like, that's not too bad. Cavalry combat ability and land leader shock. Frankish Knights. So that looks like it's a special one specifically for us. 15% cavalry combat ability and land leader shock. That's pretty good. Let's go with that. I don't know. I don't have a whole lot of cav. Oh, that's not true. I have a lot of cav. Oh, that's my entire army. Right. Okay. So we can now navally dominate England. So let's say I want you guys to get some claims over here, and I want to rival the Nizrids because I need to get a bigger PP. Andalusia. So that is so dumb. That is so dumb that I did all that work only for them to get annexed immediately. I feel slighted by that. Let's build some spy network over here. And then at the start of the year, I will, uh, let's get you guys brought over there. I will take tech because being ahead on mil tech is going to be really helpful. Offensive is fine. We'll get these guys all over here. And then we will, they don't have any allies I care about. What? Really? I lost two of my heavies right there. Man, because they still have their broken naval. Okay. Anyways, let's get these guys into the empire as well. Let's uh, let's just recruit some guys. This is fine. I don't need the uh, cannon. And then I'll get a couple more cav, and we'll we'll use that army to head down there to siege them down. This army up here can handle that one. That's fine. Spymaster is dead. Imperial authority growth sounds good to me. So let's get you guys over here. Tech cost is super strong. I want that big time. Man. Okay. So they really do just have the, those guys there just... Alright. Well. Let's see what we can do here. Sink as many ships as we can before we flee. Very good. The Emperor is dead. Long live, Rudy. So, I, I'm i not sure if that's on purpose. I'm gaining a stab when my guy dies. Instead of just not losing, I'm actually gaining. We have a 4448 Regent, which is great. Pull you guys out here. Oh, yeah, they want to fight. That's a fight I'm going to lose, so I'm going to pull them back. I'm losing my ships. Yeah, lost the heavy. Feels bad, man. Okay, we now have superior numbers. So we're going to have to head on over and piece these guys out ASAP. I am the Emperor, after all. Styria, this is fine. So we can actually, we are now actually over our limit, which is great. Yearly tax income, 28. So that's like two point some ducats per month that I'm going to gain. Plus a Diplo rep. That's great. That's a good reform. So Utrecht is in here again. So I'll be able to take his trade power, which will be good. 
Hmm. Let's do something like this and we'll siege him down as time goes on. We'll worry about this uh, expand the empire war here in a bit. I'm not too concerned about it right now. Very good. Those guys are heading over here. Let's see if we can catch them. Let's get another general. Is that a three shot? Nah, just two siege. Mill power sounds good. Yes, please. Oh my gosh, they got 31,000 men here. So, let's uh get over there and beat up on them, eh? We outmaneuver them, so... We outflank them. Yeah, we have more cav. I don't know about flanking, though. Oh, we're doing so much more damage than they are. Oh, yeah, they lost a lot of men. Very good. Won the Siege of Verden, so now we can peace out Verden, probably. I would like to have you release, like... Oh, my gosh. I could spend so much Diplo, like, making them release people. What's the religion map mode over here look like? So this is all, this is all Slavic. Yeah, so I'm not even gonna worry about this one. So Verden, I want you to release Bremen, Holstein, and Dithmarschen. That's what I want from you. That's, that's fair, right? Kill them all, apparently. We go, something like this. And then eventually we'll get these guys, after we siege this all down, we should be good. There we go. Very good. Wait, what? How is this 97%? That doesn't make any sense. Alright, just kidding. You are going to... Give me all your money. Apparently. That little straight there just makes me so mad sometimes because it, they automatically always auto path through it. So these guys are going to be expanded into the empire. All right, so it does actually work now. It does work because in on the actual release patch it it didn't bring them into the empire. It was very sad every time. peasants over here. Yeah, man. England just has all these men over here. That's my problem. So let's get a couple of heavies started. Something like that. Probably should start a uh, flagship as well. So let's build one of those guys. The Troy Royon? Roy? All this like goofy French names. Goofy as in goofy that I can't pronounce it. Not because it's actually goofy, but French is pretty goofy. Let's be honest, guys. Fleet morale and uh, movement speed. I love those. Love them. Great combos. So let's kill um, kill his army. Yeah, there you go. You guys can just path through some land that I can't. We've won the siege of whatever this one is. Cool. And we one to one, definitely beat them. So get on in there and beat them. Very easy. Something like this. I don't know where Utrecht took his army. There we go. Get you guys up there. Choose with Trier is now over. Hmm. The Reformation is not here yet, so, uh... Ah! Oh wait, I'm not the, uh, I'm not the guy. Bummer. I'm not the dude, the guy, you know? The man. Yeah, you kill those rebels for me. a boy. But now they're gonna win it. Now they're gonna win the siege. This is Woods, so this is actually really good for me. He's, not, he's also not full morale, which is perfect. 
taking extremely heavy losses. Look, look how many men he's lost. I've lost 43. Okay, so I've actually lost more men than him. Makes sense. I really want to uh, get these. This Utrecht is starting to really get on my nerves. I can't do anything about it because they have naval dominance. Seven heavies, man. Just need to win these sieges. Let's also make sure that we are continuing to build our infrastructure. So he does have railroads in there now. Very good. Beautiful. Metropolitan France must, must be uh, industrialized and have a strong infrastructure. It's very important. Very good. Do something like this. Hopefully they just go onto the fort and they don't beeline it for me. Yep, they're beelining it for me. That's annoying. Okay. Uh, we'll take tech so we don't get un unbalanced research. Because that's a very annoying modifier. 41-2%. Just kidding. We're never going to win at 42%. And meanwhile, they are on Paris. So We're just going to hopefully win... Be a 42% before they win Paris. That's kind of the the joke of this 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 game. And the the funny part is, I have no idea which one's going to go first. 14% now, 42% still. Okay. 14%, 42%. I might be able to come up here and wipe them. Let's go. Let's go, baby. Hell yeah. Won the Siege of the Hog. Very good. So I'm going to piece him out before that tick goes through because I do not want to deal with that garbage. Actually, just kidding. I'm going to risk it. Ah, he took it anyways. <laughs> That's okay. Because... I'm going to get a lot more out of this war because because of that. Next month, the war exhaustion will tick up. There we go. There we go. The trade, the trade power from that peace deal is very big. Something like this. Make sure we are getting all of our bases covered. go. This war is over. Let's go with the construction cost. That sounds wonderful. X of uniformity. I'll hold off on that for now. That means roads are only 62. That's great. There we go. Get everybody over there. So what do we want from this war? Well, definitely this. Trade power is a big one. Um, I think I'd like to start taking some land over here for myself. Maybe take like this and have him release Kent, Sussex. Yeah, this is great. I can definitely do that. All right, cool. And then actually I don't need that land then. East Anglia. Oops. Well, that's annoying. Fat finger. Wait, wh why did he not accept that before? What was there to not accept? Here we go. These guys should all join. They all have truces with him, but once their truces are up, they should all be willing to join. We're waiting on a couple of our heavies to finish up over here. Very good. Get you guys over here. Where are these other armies at? Here they are. 
Okay, so who could we be you now? Doesn't look anybody useful. Galicia? Possibly. Let's go with some... Oof. Imperial authority growth is good. I will take it. So it looks like we're doing pretty strong over here as well. So let's... Bestow some Imperial Grace. Uh, looks like we've already got it. Well, let's bestow Imperial Grace upon any Elector that we don't have it already with. Very good. And then you. Okay. Cologne has been absolutely going buck wild over here. Goodness gracious. Look how much money we're making now from this trade node. It's crazy. Okay. So now... We're gonna get even more money from tax. <laughs> Imperial authority from free cities will go up by 50%, which is pretty good. And we are going to try to crush the, rev the uh, reformation. Put you guys all over here. Let's have you guys beef up a bit. And then let's have our flagship actually come out here with these guys. Have them protect trade. So now, so and I get this question a lot. Why do you put a heavy? Why do you make your flagship a heavy one? And why do you use the trade maps with them? And why do you put them in the trade? Because this one trade power per fleet, ship and fleet, gives everybody, everybody, a light ship is usually two trade powers. This is three. So theoretically, if I had the sailors, and I do, I can also take my light ships and get them up there as well. And they will now protect trade. And you can see my or my transports now have one trade power. It's not nothing. So basically, you're trading, trading sailors for the ability to get more money. So I think it's a good trade. I'd like to do it. Galicia wants a royal marriage. They don't want to be my vassal, so... I'm not going to worry about it. So, these guys, I will improve with them so they join the HRE. I think that's definitely something I want to do here. So, let's make sure we have claims on all of these. And we should be able to declare on him pretty soon as well. Gold is the sign of nobility or free admin points. Sounds good. And we definitely need to keep making sure that we're doing this as well. Also, this mod right here, the uh, extended UI estates or something like that, link in the description. All my mods are in the description. Dude, this guy has been gobbling up so many people. Berg is gone. Oh right, this is Franconia. They have they have the same color CB. Never mind. He's not as big as I thought he was. So I would like to expand the empire if I could. So let's do it. Let's start pushing these reforms through, eh? Get you guys over on Prague. Siege down Prague for our, you know, once per decade siege of Prague. Now that we have the money, we definitely need more um, cannons in our more cannons in the armies. I don't really have a reason not to have more cannons at this point. Okay, so we just wait, ride it out. Free Diplo sounds good to me. Very good. Something like this, just carpet siege him down. Let us, let's take it. 50 mil points in army professionalism, I love it. Something like this. Now Bohemia can peace out and give me whatever I want. There we go. And then you guys will force religion and join the empire. That's what we're doing with that one. Hello, Rudy. What is your personality, my friend? Liberty, desire, and subjects. Eh. 
It's not the best, not the worst. There we go. So, we have now expanded the empire. The Magyars are all kinds of jacked up over here. So, this is interesting. Got a little bit of Tangri over here. So, Silesia, I would like to attack them, release like Moravia and or Nitra. Let's see here. We don't have a CB against them. Because they're not Christian, is that why? So, these guys have Imperial Ban. Silesia would join them. Hmm. So, let's see here. If I call these guys in... Let's see. Will I be unblack flagged if they're in the war? I don't think I will, actually. Ah. This is fine. We just need to, uh... Dang, man. Alright, let's just head on back, and we will handle this war in the next one. So, I hope you guys are enjoying, and if you are, please show your support and leave a like. Ah, he's, bo he's bugged. Yeah, the AI's derped already. Fun. I love when that happens. But, uh, anyways, don't forget to show your support and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it. And uh, subscribe if you want to see more. And then also, if you want to check out the Discord or support us on Patreon, the links for everything are in the description below the video. And with all of that being said, this is Chewy Shoe, and I'll catch you guys later. A huge special thanks to my top supporters on Patreon, Bloodbound92, Palmer, Jack Thompson, Drunk Binary, Some Kind of Meme, Valentel, Jaron Clampett, Corbett Gaming, Home TV, RJ Pilot, Callus Cassowary, The Bitter Steel, and many more. I appreciate you guys very much. Don't forget to check out the videos linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.